done changed Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation They ain't never had the dedication People hating, say we changing, look, we made it Yeah, we made it Okay, hey guys, so I am actually in the carpool line again. This is starting to be a tradition. Um, this piece of hair, what the? <laughs> anyway, um, the lighting is horrible in this car. It's really sunny outside, as you can tell, so I apologize. Um, it's 1222, and the kids actually have early release day. Instead of getting out at 345, they get out at 1245. Oh, yay! It's actually good because your girl needs a nap. No, I'm just kidding. No, really. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so let's talk about things going on in the world. And I do have to tell you guys because I know, I, let's see, if you guys have been watching my last couple of vlogs, especially one yesterday when I did like the people cannot drive, you guys, like this neighborhood that my daughter's school is in like literally on the side of me are all new homes literally being built let me see if i can show you again just in case you missed so all of those homes are just still in construction you know so what happens is is people oh my hand in your face so what happens is is people um they, it's like a big like a horseshoe and you go in one way, you come out the other, you circle the school behind the school, and then you just keep going, you can go out. So people apparently don't know any better, and being that there's all this construction, there's these work cars and utility cars and all stuff, like parked on the right-hand side of the road. Well, the left-hand side is the carpool line, so it really turns into a one-laner once you get over here to the houses that are being built, because like I said, you have all the trucks and stuff that are you know, there with bricks and all that other stuff. So people get in, they ride around their circle, they end up getting caught within the carpool line, and then when they sit there and realize that the cars are not moving for like another 15, 20 minutes, they get like irate, they get pissed. So your girl just came up, um, put her car in park. Now, the lady in front of me in like a silver Altima, uh, I guess realized that the infinity in front of her was not moving because there's no brake lights on um but there was no one on the right side of the road there's no cars they must be at lunch or something all the people so she literally could just go around the infinity in front of her and go on her merry way so this heifer proceeds to put her car into reverse and beeping while she's doing it and i'm like looking in my rear view mirror you guys and there's this lady already parked behind me and that lady was not attempting to back up was not attempting to move in she wasn't even stutting my rear view my my backup lights you know what i'm saying she wasn't even paying attention so i'm like letting the lady know and i'm like yo where am i supposed to go i mean the people behind me aren't moving so what are you gonna do run me over are you gonna back into me you know what i'm saying so she gets out of her car and i was like is she about to come up to my window in front of the school and start some beef so she gets out, goes up to the car in front of her. Apparently, she asked them if they would move. So now the lady got out of this carpool line that is so freaking long, I tell you. And I know that lady is pissed because this lady in front of me went on her merry way after she moved the car. And this other lady had to circle the entire school to get back into the carpool line when she was originally one, two, three, fifth in line. Now she's probably 35th. This is what they do here. They cannot drive. So, enough about the little carpool ranty poo and what I see. Let's talk about first. Um, ooh, I'm about to be on a fuel light. Ugh, your girl will run a car to a fuel light, you guys. Um, first, Chloe Kardashian, if you guys did not know, she named her baby girl. No pictures yet that I have come across. Um, she named her baby True. T-R-U-E, True Thompson. Um, allegedly, the name comes from, I guess, her great-grandfather's middle, middle name was True. And her grandfather on her mom's side, his grandfather, her, 
her grandfather on her mom's side, which is Chris Jenner's dad, his name was True. So she decided, I guess, to name her baby True. Uh, it's cute. It's different. Uh, they definitely have a family full of youngins that have um, off the ball names, but they're cute. Um, I definitely, like I told my son, if I definitely was trying to have another child, um, uh, which I can't, <laughs> girl is fixed, snipped and burned, girls, eh. um, if I ever, like, I don't know, if a miracle happened and I ever had a child or something, um, I would probably name that child something off the wall. I don't know why, but just... I don't know off the wall names my generation you guys when I grew up was like was I was born in the 70s 76 1976 um like the names are like Michelle Jennifer my name Kim like real common female names Michelle things like that um so I remember growing up like everybody's name was like that Michelle Jennifer Courtney Brie Brianna um, all like the, the, like, uh, what do you say the word? The common names. So now in this day and age, people are naming them like off the wall, like Blue Ivy and Chicago and Northwest, St. West. It's cute to a point. I think, I think everybody's each their own. Um, so it was really cute. It, it like, I don't know. It had a rub on me. So it's cute and uh, here comes a truck that thinks he's gonna get thrown um you guys I am looking so shot out I was actually um, doing my planners and recording my planner videos because it is here Wednesday and your girl has not filmed the planner video for this week so you guys stay tuned that one is gonna be up today as well uh, um, let's see what else I don't know why your girl got into the carpool line no one she's about to be on a field light that's super fun um oh yeah you guys what is up oh uh, if you guys have not heard yesterday about that southwest airlines airplane when i heard that i was with that lady that passenger that got almost sucked out of the window you guys i wanted to cry i was like what um i saw like an article by people magazine from um one of the people that was sitting next to the lady that got kind of sucked out they said that um what happened was is of course the engine blew a piece of something or other hit the window and shattered it where she was now i always assumed those windows were like not so much glass that they were made out of some i don't know some astronaut type glass apparently not maybe not um but the person that was sitting next to the lady said that she half of her body was oh my god half of her body was sucked out of the window now imagine you're at 30,000 feet going god knows how fast that plane was going and it was descending now if she was half of her body which they said was like her arms and stuff so probably her waist up she was literally outside of that window while the other passengers and people were trying to pull her back in oh my god I cannot like I am literally breaking like my heart breaks for this lady um, rest in peace she had two kids she was a um, um, like a nice like, executive for Wells Fargo Bank you guys I can't the thought of me even thinking about like hanging out of an airplane window at 30,000 feet or any any feet at that and then that's the way that you you die like that's the end of your life i mean i just can't even imagine what that woman when it first happened was thinking i just can't like that is the most freakish thing i think i have like ever heard or close to it i just it's so upsetting like my god 
like I don't even know what to say I, it took me a while to wrap my head around it I just feel so bad for her and her family and her children her husband and everybody it's just devastating really bad um, I don't know it's like every day something new happens in the world it seems like it's like not one day that we can go without something not happening I guess I guess that's the way the world works. I guess that's how life works. I guess it's just crazy. It's like somebody or something is always doing something. Like every day something happens and it just frightens me. It just, ugh. Anyway, you guys, rest in peace for that lady. Um, terrible. I love how I sit here and I just see the the numbers go down like that you have for your gas and it has mine has like the numbers how many miles you have to like empty and I know when mine hits <laughs> to the 47 mile mark my fuel light comes on and um yeah it went down three three little thingies right now and it's at 50 so and I got like 14 minutes I'm all right you guys let me know I will ride a car on a fuel light like I know my car I know once my fuel light comes on I have like 10 miles to get to like a gas station um, because of like all the dashes come up on my dashboard it's like digital I guess you call it then if it goes dash dash dash, dash <laughs> I know and I'm pretty screwed at that point because I will I hate getting gas um, I don't really put the gas I don't put the gas on my car but like right now I'm gonna have to put the gas in my car because I refuse to get gas that is the most dumbest thing does anybody else ride the fuel light or ride it so you really have to get gas if you do comment down below if you've ever run out of gas please tell me your story down below you guys knock on wood I have never run out of gas um, but I have ridden on that dash for about three miles before and when it's on the dash my car is like B I'm about to run out and you guys are about to push me so I actually was three miles I think on the like zero gas like the reserve if that even exists was like was like none <laughs> I am so so bad about that I don't know what it is I just ugh. so I don't know I, I like talking to you guys doing my little tea vlog or my car vlog. I love it. Um, cause I feel so engaged with you guys. Like, Hey, I'm so close to you guys. Cause I'm actually recording on my iPhone. When I sit in a car, I have this, um, tripod thing that suctions cups to my, um, my dot. I mean, I'm my, my windshield. So I'm not ever holding the phone and things like that. So, um, I actually record from my iPhone when I'm in the car like this. Um, oh my gosh, my gosh, is she be? <sighs> um, yeah, so I have to, ugh, time for a nap. So you guys, um, this was just a what's up, what's going on, car vlog, not too much, not too much, not too much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here because it's almost time for the bell to ring for the kitties to get out. So if you're not already a subscriber, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And stay tuned for another video coming up. I'm going to try to do within the next eight minutes. It's going to be a really, 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 really short video on a giveaway. So you guys stay tuned for that as well as the planner video that I'm going to have to upload today too at some point. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of talk time, car vlog time with your girl. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.